or yesterday's Spanish election producing somewhat of a surprising result and possibly uh, some lessons here for Rishi Sunak and the Conservatives because of course uh, Pedro Sanchez, the socialist uh, Spanish Prime Minister, he saw his party take some pretty heavy losses in the recent local regional elections. Uh, but rather than just trying to cling on uh, for as long as possible, he actually called on an early election. Now, of course, we are scheduled to have elections here on the 2nd of May 2024. I would suggest the Tories may struggle if they lose heavily at that election, are only then a few months later to try and win at a general election. Of course, uh, Tories could also lose a lot of councillors and that will affect uh, their activist base. So food for thought, perhaps some lessons in terms of the Spanish election for uh, Sunak and the Conservatives in terms of when the next general election will be here. Because we saw, didn't we, the indications that this could have been in Spain, the latest example that we've seen sweep Europe, really, of sort of left-wing uh, governments being ousted and being replaced uh, after election defeats by Conservative governments. You even had the Italian Prime Minister, Giorgio Maloney, of course, addressing a Vox rally uh, during this election campaign. And yeah, most of the uh, polls and research was pointing to the Conservatives doing uh, very, very well uh, and winning the election, but having to do a deal with Vox to secure an absolute majority, to secure a governing majority. You also had what looked like a bit of a debacle for the Socialist Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez in terms of the TV debates, the media gave him a good kick in in terms of his performance and it was felt uh, quite widely that the Conservative leader had actually beaten him in that debate. But we've just seen the results of this election and it has been pretty surprising, I think. This video is sponsored by Hello Fresh, and you know, I absolutely love uh, cooking, but let's just say this Englishman's uh, skills in the kitchen haven't always been hugely appreciated by those I've cooked for, but I've been cooking and eating like an absolute king because with HelloFresh you get a whole series of options giving you great value for money and convenience with meals. You just order the meals that you want, unbox it, cook it and get some cracking final results. So just yesterday I did the Thai lard style pork and pepper taco. Now this is a rapid one. You can do this in just 20 minutes. So incredibly convenient. So they're doing an offer 60% off your first box and 25% off your next eight boxes if you use this QR code that's on screen. Now I'll also put a link down below in the description of this video and the top pin comment. If you go on HelloFresh, use the code MH60. Yeah, scan the QR code or check out the links below. I'm sure you'll absolutely love it. 60% off your first HelloFresh box and 25% off your next eight boxes. Check out the deal and eat and cook like a don. What you did see is the Conservatives come first. They did win this election. They were the party, the popular party, that received the most support with 33%, a big surge up 12 compared to the previous Spanish election in 2019. But you also saw there Pedro Sanchez, the socialist PM, as I said, who called on this early election. His party also gained support as well, up four, and only narrowly behind the Conservatives there. Now, Vox did remain the third party, but actually lost support uh, during this election campaign. You also had the left-wing Sumar party on 12% as well. So you can see there, in terms of the seat distribution, the Conservatives getting 136 seats, Vox 33 versus the Socialists 122, and the Sumar left-wing party 31 seats. Now, of course, the proposition from the Conservatives was that they were going to be in a coalition with Vox, as they have been, for instance, in Valencia. But that would have required 176 seats, which they've fallen short of. So what you could see now is Pedro Sanchez cutting some deals with some smaller parties to remain as Spanish Prime Minister. There is the prospect also that the Socialists and the Conservatives, that neither of them can form a stable coalition. And you could see, yes, you guessed it, another set of Spanish elections. So as I said, a pretty surprising result. The Conservatives winning, but not doing enough uh, overall, along with the Vox Party, to form a new Conservative government in Spain. So whether or not now Pedro Sanchez can cling on as Prime Minister in Spain by doing a number of deals with other parties, or indeed we could see another election in Spain. As ever, though, I will keep bringing you all the latest on this and more. So please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.